world, my name is Nicholas Montez and you're watching my YouTube channel, Nicholas Montez. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, everybody. I'm so excited to have y'all back here together again. And in today's video, we're going to be reviewing the ne next film that we're going to be reviewing for Journey to the Next, um, what's the, what's it called? Uh, I forgot, the King, no, not Kingsman, uh, what's the name of it? Uh, Fantastic Beast movie, The Secrets of Dumbledore, reviewing Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows Part 1. But before we do that, I think it's better that I review some of the Hollow on um, Harry Potter films that I actually have seen this past week. So with that said, let's get started reviewing those movies. Now for me, what I thought this film did pretty good is the way that it kind of deals with Harry Potter's struggles of him having to deal with rivals of, at school, but also dealing with recurring nightmares. And I think that was kind of cool in the way they we got that. And the, the conflict, the, the way that Ron and Harry are when his name is put in the Goblet of Fire, but he doesn't believe him that it wasn't actually him that he put his name in there. It sets up that conflict. But besides that, I feel like that this is just a regular... Um, just a good Harry Potter story that I don't really think does anything big, but it is still really good. Now, this is one that I feel like does a lot of cool stuff. That it sets up this story where Harry Potter t tries to create a team of students at Hogs Hogwarts to try and protect... It, and I think that's actually a pretty cool idea. But at the same time, you also have the person, the the, the person, the, the other idea where they have the person thinking that it's gonna steal their job. That's not the most interesting plot line. And then when you get um, Sirius Black dying and Dumbledore, though that's probably um, some of the saddest deaths in this movie. And much like the other Harry Potter movies, it's just another. Um, solid Harry Potter story. So that's pretty much all I have to say. Now let's start talking about the Harry Potter and the Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows Part One. So for me, what I absolutely loved about this movie was that. It really is just a great setup for Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows Part 2, which I'm extremely excited to see because not only does my sister own it, but it's all but the entire collection, even the Fantastic Beast movies, are on HBO Max. So this is a movie that part two movie I'm definitely seeing next week. But just in general, um there's just a lot of cool stuff in it. There's some cool action. There are some very emotional moments and very interesting conflict that happens between Harry and um, Hermione and Ron that I think is just very cool. And uh, the fact that Dobby dies is very emotional. And the fact that you killed off that specific character who's just so innocent makes it so heartfelt and so emotional that it's like, why would you kill this character? such a heartwarming and light character. Like, how could you kill him? So I thought that was great. Um, and uh, with that said, let's go ahead and get started talking about the bat. Now, I guess you could say the, the worst thing about this movie is that these all these Harry Potter movies, they're just too long. I can give a little bit of credibility to Order of the Phoenix because it's it's two hours and 18 minutes, but most of these films feel like they're almost like three hours. And th that's a, an incredible thing. And they're making it like this big Oscar franchise, kind of like Lord of the Rings. And I mean, granted, I like Lord of the Rings. I think they do really well. But I just don't think that um, this movie needs to be that long. It doesn't need to be that long. The finale needs to be long because it's a it's a finale of the series. But when it's like the next part of the series, I'm not so sure about that. But also the story can drag a little times because it feel it does feel like one part of the finale. And I guess that's 
famous for most of these types of finale things. But overall, I did really enjoy it, and I'm very excited for part two when I see it next week. So if, before I give my final score, be sure to comment down below. What were your thoughts on Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows part one? Did you guys love it? Did you guys hate it? What are you guys between? Let me know all your thoughts down below in the comment section below. With that still, let's get on my scores. Alright, so that's it for my scores. But before we get um before we end this video, we have to do an updated Harry Potter ranking because I have seen some more movies and saw this film. So let's see where all these other movies end up in this list, shall we? Alright, so that's it for my scores. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. All my social media stuff is in the about section over there. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!